What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the top five Facebook ad mistakes that is likely costing your brand and your ad account thousands of dollars. And so before we go ahead and dive on into these things that you need to be avoiding, just wanna give you a little bit of background, right? And just in the last 30 days in this one account, we've spent $61,000. Just give this a quick little refresh pull up a couple of accounts here just to kind of let you know we definitely know what we're you know I know we know the agency knows what we're talking about of this account here in the last 30 days let's pull it up we spent over five hundred and sixty thousand dollars in this one account and we're managing around 30 different ad accounts as you can see here so we're spending just over two million dollars a month on Facebook right now guys and so what I want to break down today is as I mentioned how you can avoid these or really what you should be avoiding these five Facebook ad mistakes that are costing you and your brand and your ad account thousands of dollars. So let's go ahead and dive on in. So number one, guys, first of all, these are things that we see across, you know, dozens and dozens of ad accounts that we're auditing every single year and across the dozens of accounts that we're managing every single year. And so number one that I consistently see is just not utilizing broad enough audiences, right? Gone, guys, are the days of pre iOS 14 and extremely targeted ads over targeting now by narrowing your audiences too much is going to not only limit your ad reach, and it's going to limit Facebook's algorithm and overall performance, but it's actually going to cost you more to do so, right? The more that you're actually narrowing your audiences, the higher that your CPMs are going to be. And by utilizing broader audiences, you're going to allow Facebook's machine to learn, you know, on their own in terms of, you know, the Facebook's AI, you know, what actually is determined as a qualified lead or a qualified customer or potential customer for your brand based off of way more data points than you can have by saying, hey, I want to target cat owners or whatever the case may be. And so guys, that's one thing I would take a look at right now in your ad accounts. Ensure that, you know, if your CPMs are a little bit high, try utilizing a bit of more broader audiences and utilizing your creative as you're targeting, which kind of leads into the next mistake is what we see here is ineffective ad creative and messaging, right? So many times do I see brands using boring creative or unclear messaging that fails to capture the attention of a potential customer? Guys, you need to remember we're targeting people on social media and they are scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And so if your ad doesn't stand out or convey a compelling message, users are going to scroll right by it. And you need to remember, you need to be thinking in terms of direct response. You need to be grabbing attention and you need to be able to keep it. So you want to be able to use strong hooks, clear messaging, right? Be able to get what you're trying to portray across at a simple glance of an eye and actually have something that's you know worth stopping their scroll grabbing their attention and then you can kind of go into your selling or your messaging whatever the case may be and that's why i've said here think direct response right what response are we trying to get people to elicit from seeing our ads on facebook and instagram that's going to be stopping clicking going to the website interacting with the brand uh, becoming educated and potentially converting number three guys is super simple right neglecting a b testing and optimization right going back to the ineffective ad creating and messaging guys this is simple if you're failing to test different elements of your ads and your creatives such as headlines you know hooks images call to actions this means you're missing out on the opportunity to improve your performance if you're not tracking these sort of things and actually a b testing what's working against you know maybe you know a new idea or reiterations whatever the case may be you're basically saying to yourself you're comfortable with the performance you're at right now you're not going to shoot for anything higher and you need to be a b testing all of the elements of your creatives and your ads frequently and consistently and sort of piggybacking off of that guys the fourth mistake that we see in ad accounts consistently is ignoring ad frequency and overall audience fatigue guys there's been a million times that we have audited an account and i'm looking at overall account frequency at 20x which means each individual person is seeing those ads 20 times right those audiences are becoming fatigued if they're not converting just yet you might want to be able to expand your audiences and so as i've written here showing the same ad repeatedly and repeatedly to the same audience can lead to not only creative fatigue but audience fatigue and so when users are seeing your ad way too often they're probably going to get annoyed like i've seen this ad a million times i don't want to buy from them they're going to hit hide this ad it's going to reduce your ad rating on facebook and it's going to be an overall worst time for your overall account as well as performance and so you want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on frequency I would say like maximum for our brands, depending on the average order value is probably like eight to 10 X, right? If something is like $200, it's probably going to take someone seeing the ad, you know, eight to 10, 12 times to click on it and actually convert and actually make that purchasing decision. But you also don't want to get too high where people are becoming annoyed. So you really want to make sure that you're keeping an eye on that. And then the last mistake, guys, is so important that I really left it for last for a reason. So not understanding KPIs 
and the true performance metrics inside of your ad account and for overall Facebook ads. Guys, if you're failing to comprehend KPIs, the, the key performance indicators relative to Facebook ads manager, uh, this is gonna lead to misguided decisions. You're gonna turn off ads that are performing. You're gonna scale ads that are not performing and you're gonna waste so much money. So you need to understand things like your break-even return on ad spend, your goal cost per acquisition and understanding what all of these different KPIs in the ad account mean, your CTR, your CPC, your CPM. If you cannot understand what these are and set realistic goals for those numbers, and then actually go back to properly assess the campaign performance, you're going to be wasting your money. And this is probably one of the biggest mistakes that I see inside of the ad accounts that we're managing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is very simple stuff, but these five mistakes are very common, right? And they're costing your brand, your ad account, and your business tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. So hope you guys take this to heart. Hope you guys learned something here again, guys, go ahead and please drop a like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, share it with a friend. It really does help with the algorithm. Drop a comment if you guys have any questions. As always, if you're interested in working with us, links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one.